In this video, I will be finding the pivot columns of this matrix. So in order to find the pivot columns, we reduce this matrix into a row echelon form or a upper triangular form, and we take the first non-zero entries of each row. So let's start with the top left. We'll use this guy as a pivot, and we will uh, we need to cancel out everything below it, so we can take this third row and add the first row to it, and then we can take the fourth row and subtract two times the first row. So let's do this operation. The first row stays the same. Second row stays the same. We get a zero right here, a four right here, a negative four right here, a zero right here, and a five right here. And then we take this row and subtract two times the first row. So we get a zero right here, a negative five right here, um, a one minus a negative four, so a positive five right here. And then we have four minus four, which is zero, and one minus 10, which is negative nine. So, so far we have one pivot, and now we move on to the next pivot position, and we'll use this guy as a pivot, and we'll knock out everything below it. We can do that by taking the third row, and we can subtract four over three times the second row, and then we can take the fourth row, and we can add five over three times the second row. So let's go ahead and do this operation. And what we get is 1, 3, negative 2, 2, 5. First row stays the same. Second row stays the same. The third row, we have, so we're taking row 3 and subtracting 4 thirds times row 2. So we have a 0 right here. And then we have 4 minus 4 thirds times 3, which is a 0. And then we have negative 4 minus 4 thirds times negative 3, which is also a 0. And then we have 0 minus 0 and 5 minus 8 thirds, which is 7 thirds. Then we move on to the fourth row. And we have a 0 right here. We have negative 5 plus 5 thirds times 3, which gives us 0 right here. And then we also get a 0 right here and a 0 right here. So we have a negative 9 plus 5 thirds times 2, which comes out to be negative 17 thirds. So we've just finished using this pivot and cleared out everything below it. So we go to the next pivot position, which is right here. But this is a zero entry, and everything below it is also zero, so there's no row to swap with. So instead, I have to go over another column, and I have to use this as a pivot. But we have the same problem here, so I've got to go over again, and I can use this as a pivot. And I will eliminate the negative 17 thirds below it. And the way I can do that is by taking row four, and I will add 17 over seven, times row three. And when I do this, we get the following matrix. And now we get zero, 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 zero. And this operation cancels this last one out to zero. So our final reduced matrix as a result of Gaussian elimination is this. And recall that we used this guy as a pivot, this guy as a pivot, and this guy as a pivot. And if we look in this row, this last row, there is no pivot that we can use in this row because all of the uh, columns have zeros in this row. So we can look at the columns now and we find each column that contains a pivot which are the first, second, and fifth columns 
So we come back to our original matrix and our pivot columns will be the first, second, and fifth vectors.